at five months old, your baby is changing rapidly and they're developing a personality of their very own. It's so much fun to see and it's one of my favourite baby ages. You may notice that now your baby can not only lift objects and put them to their mouth, but they can also swap hands with them and use their fingers in a much more dexterous way. They may even start to shake or bang the object and enjoy listening to the sound that it makes. As well as all that shaking and banging, your little one is likely to put those objects straight in their mouth because five months old is the prime time for teething. Although you may not see it yet, there is a lot happening under your baby's gums and those first teeth are just months away if not already there. Your baby's body is getting stronger and stronger and not only will they be able to lift their head chest and upper body off the floor during tummy time but they may also start to move their legs in preparation for crawling and they will be a lot more sturdy at sitting up with support too. As well as all this physical development your baby is developing mentally and they will start to be able to recognise familiar songs, phrases and people. You'll probably feel like you can start to have a real conversation with you and they actually almost understand what you say to them. Your baby will also start to chat back to you and make a wild wide variety of sounds, not just the cooing that they will have made in earlier months, but lots of different sounds, including blowing raspberries. In this video, I'm going to show you lots of different ways to play with your five month old to help develop these skills even further and entertain them along the way. If you are new to my channel and this series, I'm just going to let you know this is one in a series of videos all about your baby's development month by month. I will link the series playlist up here. There have already been videos on newborn development and your four month old as well. So if you have babies of that age, then do head over and check out those videos too. If you like these kind of videos on play and baby development and baby life, then make sure that you do subscribe. I have lots of new videos that come out every week, as well as a free baby class that comes out every Wednesday. I just talked about the fact that your baby may be picking up objects in a more dexterous way than they were at four months old. So not only just picking up the object and bringing it to their mouth, but swapping the object from hand to hand and giving it a good shake and bang too. So this is the perfect opportunity, if you haven't already, to introduce some musical play into your baby's repertoire, isn't it? We're going to do some tapping with it. Are you ready? We're going to sing tap, 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 stop. You can do this by singing nursery rhymes or your favourite songs. In fact, you don't have to sing children's songs to your baby. And if you don't like children's songs, then don't sing children's songs to them. Sing whichever songs you like and your baby will enjoy them too. Have a go at encouraging your baby to shake a shaker, a rattle or some bells. And you can do it in time for the music. You can always hold their hand and shake it with them if they struggle to do it by themselves. And if you don't have a shaker, then there are loads of easy ways to make DIY shakers. And I will link a video up here where I talk all about different DIY toys that are really easy to make for your baby. Of course, as well as singing with your baby, you could turn on some music and have a dance party too with those instruments. You may want to introduce ribbon streamers or sensory scarves in lots of different colours. Babies at five months old have greater depth perception, but they also can see a wider variety of colours on the colour scale, so they can tell the difference between lights and darks and different hues of colour too. That means that your baby will really enjoy enjoy and be interested in toys with lots of different variations in colour, not only bright colours but pastel colours as well. One of my baby's favourite activities is dancing or laying back while I dance and shake a scarf or a ribbon streamer above his head in time to music. This is also a really great activity to do if you have older siblings because they can get involved and help to play with your baby as well. One of the other ways that you can help your baby to further develop that increased depth perception is by moving objects and toys further away and then closer to your baby as you play with them. So you could do this by holding a scarf or a toy above your baby and bringing it up, 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 up and down, 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 down to your baby. Up, 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 up and down, 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 down. This will help their eyes focus in and tune into the object and they will start understanding that that object is moving further away from them and moving closer to them. Watch as the object moves closer to them because they will reach out their hands and try to grab it. When they do this, this means that they understand that the object is close enough to touch. I'm sure that you have been doing lots of tummy time by now and you may not have been doing tummy time if your baby doesn't like it, but I'm sure that you have tried your best. Don't worry if your baby doesn't like tummy time, it won't be detrimental 
detrimental to their overall development. It just may mean that they do things like rolling and crawling a little bit later than babies that do enjoy tummy time. If your baby does like tummy time, then you will have noticed that they can push up now on their arms and hold up their upper torso. As well as that, they will be able to lift their back legs off the floor so they're in a kind of a U shape. And this is all great preparation for crawling because it's really helping to strengthen that core. You may even find when babies are in this position that they start working their legs and moving their legs in preparation for crawling, which will probably happen in just a few months time. There are lots of different ways that you can encourage your baby to enjoy tummy time. Putting interesting toys or fabrics in front of your baby for them to reach out and grab is always a good one. Or you could even try using a large exercise ball or bouncy ball and placing your baby on top of it on their tummy, rocking it forwards and backwards and bouncing them up and down. Those things will help to strengthen your baby's core but also get a sense of balance and stability as well which is really important for them when they start to learn to crawl and also to roll. Now you may have noticed that your baby is already rolling at this point. They may have rolled already from front to back which is normally what babies do first although some do it the other way around and at this stage as they near the end of that five month mark and move into the six month mark you may find that your babies start to roll from back to front. This is actually a harder skill to perfect because it requires all the flexor muscles at the front of the baby's chest and stomach and they have to bring their legs up. You may notice them rocking onto their side first before they roll onto their tummy. So if your baby can do that but can't roll from their tummy onto their back, don't worry, they've actually perfected the harder way of rolling first. In any case, if your baby isn't anywhere near to rolling or crawling, then don't worry. These are just guidelines. Every baby is different. You know your baby best and it's not nothing to worry about if they haven't reached this stage already. They will have just been working on something else instead. As well as rolling and crawling practice, your baby will have been practicing sitting a lot by now. Your baby will probably be able to sit with support and much more sturdily than they could do at four months old. You may even be able to just hold your baby's hands and notice how they sit upright in a sturdy position. When your baby is younger, their back tends to be a little bit curved in a C shape as they sit, but as they reach that five month mark their back will start to straighten out as that core strengthens. You can help them to develop this further and give them lots of sitting practice by doing things like lap rhymes. I talk about lap rhymes a lot but they are so brilliant for baby's development. All lap rhymes mean are sitting your baby on your knee while you sing some songs or listen to music and bouncing them up and down or rocking them from side to side. You can do this by holding onto your baby's hands rather than holding their torso and that will mean that they have to support themselves on their own rather than you holding them up. You may want to make a mobile or use any other of your baby's favourite toys and hold it in front of them so that they can reach out and touch it which will help to develop that stabilisation and coordination as well as strengthening their core as they sit. If you would like to watch our three to six month baby routine to see what our day looks like at five months old then click onto this video here. If you like this video then please do give it a like, I do so appreciate it and leave me a comment below and tell me what your five month old's favourite thing to do is. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I will see you all next time. Bye bye. Let's